What's up and welcome to the Sticky Art Channel. So in this video I'm going to be going over how to avoid breakage of your Prismacolor Premier pencils as well as how to sharpen them to get a sharp tip and avoid wasting of material. I'm going to go over a few different pencil sharpeners and the one I think is best for Prismacolor pencils as well as a tip to make the pencils last a little bit longer. So one of the number one things that sets Prismacolor Premier pencils apart from their other lines of pencils as well as other color pencils and graphite pencils is that Prismacolor Premier are actually what they consider a soft core pencil. So all the other mentioned like graphite and other regular color pencils are what they consider hard core. But on these the Premiers they're actually a soft core so not hard core and they've got a soft core which is a wax mixed with pigment. This allows for a really good lay down of color, a lot of vibrant, and it also allows for really easy blending. However, the downfall of this is it is a little bit easier to break, so you've got to be a little bit gentler with these pencils um, in the first place. So if you do drop them, what can happen? They can get a break in the core even though they haven't been sharpened yet and then when you get to that point where there's a break on the inside of the core you sharpen it and you press down and all of a sudden the tip just breaks even though you didn't put too much pressure or anything it just breaks right out of place because there's already a break there it's really frustrating so the number one tip in avoiding that is just don't drop them and if you've got to take them places don't have them in the back of a backpack where they're banging up against each other sometimes if there's enough wood casing left you can push the core back into it and continue coloring, but more like a downwards motion rather than at an angle until it comes out all the way or the, the actual casing won't hold it. And then you can sharpen it. This will help save a little bit of the pencil from being shaved down too early. So the next best thing you can do for your Prismacolor pencils is to invest in a good pencil sharpener. So I'm going to go over my pencil sharpeners from worst to best. This one is a Lisa Frank, I believe a 90s vintage circular pencil sharpener. A nice open close feature. Pop it open. It's got a small space for the pencil shavings as well as a plastic sharpener and a metal blade. So very dull and it doesn't work very well and actually breaks a lot of um, the Prismacolor lead so I don't use that one very much. This one was a 50 cent, very inexpensive, single blade um, with a little compartment for the shavings and works okay. But it did get dull pretty fast. I think I probably sharpened maybe 10 pencils before it got really dull. This one is a little bit nicer. It's by Igloo and it's a dual but this one's got two different sizes. Um, this one also got a little bit dull after a while of using with the Prismacolor pencils. However, it's one of my favorite pencil sharpeners for the Ticonderoga beginners just because it has the big hole and it allows you to sharpen those. Pretty much all the other sharpeners, it won't even fit in the hole for the most part or it fits almost all the way in there, it doesn't get far enough in. Or the Lisa Frank, just the tip. Looks like about half it fits in there, as well as the Prismacolor, it doesn't really fit in there. So it's all about getting the right pencil sharpener for the right pencils. But for the Prismacolor pencils, the only one that I really suggest out of all the ones that I have is going to be the Prismacolor branded one. I know there are a lot of good sharpeners out there, but this one was pretty inexpensive. It's under $5, um, and it's built really well. I, I've had it for a little bit over two years and it has held up very well. The blades in it are actually still sharp. I only use it for my Prismacolor pencils. So it's got a lid that keeps it open, also pops open a large area for shavings, which is nice so you don't have to empty it so often. And the other thing that's really cool is the actual blade and the sharpener um, can be replaced. So I pop that out. And you can see the blade itself is really nice too. So both the blades are made in Germany. And this one also has two different tips. So the actual pencil size is the same and it's meant for Prismacolor size pencils. 
However, the actual tip length is different on each one. So there's one that's a little bit longer tip and then the other one has a little bit shorter pointier tip. The piece that I was trying to take off earlier is what keeps it from rolling on the table. Anyways, I would highly recommend this pencil sharpener. I'll leave a link in the video description to where I got it below. So on the Prismacolor um, pencil sharpener, there are two options. You've got a little bit shorter tip length, or you can also do the longer tip length. It gives you a little bit more of a point. Um, it, however, I actually prefer doing it on the shorter tip. It seems like it's a little bit stronger and less likely to break. Looking at it a little closer, you can really see how sharp the blade is. You see a really smooth cut on the casing, as well as the outer shell. And the core itself has a really sharp tip. The longer one seems like it takes a lot longer also to sharpen all the way, and it's more likely to break while it's doing that. The more times you turn it, the more likely it is to cause damage to the core. I've also found that because of its round shape, it's really easy to actually turn the sharpener rather than the pencil, which is probably the best way to sharpen it. And it gets a really good clean cut. I also was um, trying to show off how if you actually look at the, the pencil shaving itself, it came off in almost one piece. But anyways, the inner side is going to be that shorter one so I always do that one first and if you do want to get a little bit of more of a point on there you can also do the short one and then do the long one next that's a little bit quicker way and less likely to break it so sharpen almost all the way on the center one and then on the longer one do a few turns and just slow and keep an even pressure and until you get the right amount and you just play around with it I mean you'll get kind of a feel for it there you go, I've got a good point on there. A little bit longer than the last one. So the last tip for saving on the Prismacolor pencils, not going through them as fast, is using a piece of sandpaper on a block of wood. Once the actual tip is dull, you can sharpen it rather than cutting down on the wood casing. This will save from the pencil getting cut down prematurely and you can get that tip back and get those details. Or this also works well if say you dropped a pencil and it does have some fractures that you know about that you've had issues before. Rather than sharpening it using a sharpener, you could try using just sandpaper on a wood block or on a desk that you can lay it flat. This does create a little bit of dust it does weigh some of it, but it's better than sharpening the pencil down and losing a lot of the pencil. So as you can see, you can also kind of custom shape it. And I like to get a short tip that is pointy. If you do it too long and pointy, it's more likely to break. So I kind of put a little bit of pressure and turn the actual pencil a little bit on each side, giving it an even just the light. You don't have to use too much pressure since the core is very soft. There you go. Got a really sharp tip. I can custom shape it there even a little bit more. So if you don't have a wood block and you don't have anything that you can put it on flat, you can roll a piece or a larger piece of 150 to 200 grit sandpaper and hold it just like this and then roll the pencil and you want to keep a really good kind of like slight angle on it to give it so it gives you a tip if you do it too much you'll just wear it down these are just some of the tips that I've picked up over the years of using Prismacolor pencils I hope they can help you save your pencils and not use them as fast also, if you have any other tips, let me know in the comments below. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and comment. And if you want to see more, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Also, check out any of my other 200 educational art videos. And until next time, peace.